I am about 48 hours out now from two level cervical artificial disc replacement. Um, had it done Wednesday at about three, took about two and a half hours, got in the recovery room around six, and I was there for probably a little over an hour and a half just because recovery was a little rough as far as pain management for me personally. Um, we left the hospital yesterday around 3.30, so just about 24 hours after the beginning of my surgery. And now it is Friday at about 2, so it is just shy of 48 hours past my surgery. I have slept well last night. I slept a lot. I fell asleep before 9 and then I did not get up till 11 today. So that felt amazing. Um, you can see on the counter behind me, I'm still on a lot of meds. But one thing I think I really don't want to be taking is the Neurotin because my left side is feeling really good. And I'm having no pain in my left elbow. And I can feel almost all of my hand, just my fingertips still have some tinglies to them, but I'm sure with time that will go away. Um, but huge, no pain in my shoulder or my elbow right now. And that is already worth it all. You can see my incision there. Before warned, you will have a little bit of a new Frankenstein look to you after the surgery. Um, it doesn't hurt a ton at the incision site right now, but it definitely hurts a lot more today on the inside. I can tell that they moved my esophagus and vocal cords and arteries and all of those nerves have been shuffled around in there. So I am feeling that today. Um, the back of my neck does feel actually a little bit better today. I think the insides of me just hurt more today. Um, but again, it's manageable and very much worth it. I predict I will be resting a lot today and probably going to sleep right after I am done posting this. There's nothing really new to report as far as symptoms or how I'm feeling. I can move my neck. Mm, feels good to move it. Um, without any pain in that range of motion, I do keep my neck brace on. I just took it off for the video and I'll wear it off and on for the next two weeks. Uh, I like to wear the neck brace. I feel like it just prevents me from moving my head too much and also lets me just kind of relax my neck and not worry about holding it up right now. Since all the muscles and everything else are kind of fatigued, it helps. Um, let me see. I went into the chiropractor. A huge shout out to our local chiropractor chiropractor, Dr. Andrew White at Higher Health Chiropractic because he made a special off, out of, not office hour visit with me today. So not a typical time he's open to come in with his wife even and do some x-rays of my neck. So we have 48 hour after surgery x-rays, which is awesome because I am going to continue to receive chiropractic care after this and work on keeping my body in line so that those discs have that haven't been replaced still have a really good fighting chance now. Um, I will post at the end of this video the new x-ray compared to the previous x-ray before surgery so you can kind of see what was done on my insides. It's actually really amazing. You can see all the space I gained between my vertebrae and then also the bone spurring um, and calcification that the doctor has removed. So that's all good signs. I'm not going to talk any longer so we can be done with this one. Um, nothing new to report other than just insides hurt worse today, but I can still move. Incision site feels okay. I'm just really tired. Here is a after comparison to show the changes in my neck after two level cervical artificial disc replacement. On the left side, you can see the after picture of C5-6 and C6-7. In comparison to on the right, the before, 
the disc space is very narrow and shallow and you can see with those new discs in place that I have a lot more space between my vertebrae now. You can also see near the back of C5-6 where there was kind of that thicker patch of white that was calcification of some of that disc. You can see it has also been removed in the after picture. With the removal of all that bone spurring, if you look at the front of the vertebrae on the right side, the before picture, where the arrow is pointing downward, you can see all that is new bone growth that my body had tried to lay down to protect itself, especially protecting my spinal canal. All that new bone growth was shaved away and the artificial discs were put into place. So you can see it was a successful surgery. And now my spinal cord and nerves will have a lot more room to function and I have no more compression or impingement on those parts.